Alright everyone, welcome back to another Destiny video. Today guys, I've got some news for you for the brand new DLC expansion, Rise of Iron. Today guys, we have some pretty cool stuff. The first thing is Rise of Iron has been trademarked by Bungie, but the big thing is what it says. Here it is at the very top up here, Rise of Iron owned by Bungie, it's real, it's all confirmed, even more, it's, it's coming out, this is the thing, but over here it says interactive game software, you see what it says right here, it says interactive game software, video game software, all that good stuff, if we go down a little bit, these are its other DLCs, or its other uh, trademarks, downloadable video games, downloadable downloadable every one of these has been downloadable video games via the internet and wireless devices this one on the other hand is interactive game software what does this one mean i don't know if this is gonna be like a game of sorts like i really don't know if this is gonna be its own a uh, game like its own separate thing from destiny the game itself like, if it's going to be its own entity, in a way. But I don't know. This is just something I was looking over. It's like, wait, this doesn't This doesn't seem... It seems weird. It seems strange. I just want to put this to you guys. What do you think about this? It just seems very strange how all the other DLCs is this. Then this one is this. It just doesn't make sense. So, I don't know, guys. We'll see. Um, and going over to this one, which is pretty interesting, actually. The reveal for this new game is on Thursday at 9 p.m., I think, or 9 or 10 p.m. Pacific time. And usually, whenever they release it, or they have a live stream of the game, like an official launch of the thing, 30 days later, or within 30 days, the game comes out. And right here, 27 days, House of Wolves, 28 days, Taken King, 21 days the April update, and so forth. Well, this was shut down instantly by Eric Osborne, says negatory on the within 30 days stuff. And even some other things going on here, but a lot of things, guys, going, because DLC is usually within Destiny so far, has been within 30 days, and over here, they're even written different as downloadable content this is not written or applied trademarked as downloadable content it's trademarked as interactive game software so i don't know what's going on here guys it seems a little off i don't know we're gonna see thursday really what's going on with this on the live stream and hopefully some trailer is gonna be uh launched with that and hopefully it really is something to catch us off guard. I'm gonna look at the do details. I haven't really looked really crazy at this, but look at all of this. See, look. Oh, what? Okay, so what is this area here? Look at this. Use of non downloadable video games, interactive software games. What? Dude, I wasn't even looking at that. I don't know what this means. Does this actually mean that the Rise of Iron is a real, like, game? Like, a separate game? Dude, if it is, it's gonna be huge. I'm a huge fan of destiny a lot of people has gone away from it but guys that's because the game's two years old come on you're gonna get away from it so i think i think this might be a real like another game i don't know it could be like one of those 20 dollar games you just buy download maybe move your content i don't know it just seems strange guys but here's some new news for you hopefully you enjoy the little bit i've got for you today thursday we should have a lot more coming to you and um if you enjoyed the video drop a like down below subscribe and as always this has been two by two and i'll see you next time